officially kicks off in a week or so, so no better time for some spring cleaning tips with items just lying around the house that you never oh thought God. you'd use. Uh, here with the Use This to Clean That is Good Housekeeping's executive editor, Megan Murphy. Hi. Good morning. Hi. 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 I'm Michael. Hi, good to meet you, Michael. So, so uh, what's... first we've got this dirty mattress. So yeah. we're going oh to use vodka what? to clean the mattress. Oh, Stanley! Can you hold the bottle for me? Okay, I'll hold the bottle so for you. So you put a little on the spritzer and then you just spritz the mattress. Wait, that's a, that's vodka in there? It, so it, 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 it is vodka, oh my gosh. But it disinfects. That's vodka. It disinfects and refreshes the mattress. You can even throw a little essential oil in there if you want a little lavender, a little leaven. But the alcohol helps, you know, you sweat, you have all that gross stuff on the mattress. It's a great way so to clean it. So this really clean? Absolutely. Spritz, spritz, spritz. Spritz for the mattress, spritz for you. It's all okay. No one's Oh okay. my gosh, I love it. It kills germs. Wow. wow. Holy cow. Okay. okay. You know, this so is good if you grab it. We're just going to put this away for You have a big night out. Can stay Boys, on when track. you have a big night out, spray the bed spritz, with alcohol spritz, spritz, before you get it. And then your wife will be like, oh, exactly. it's just the way the bed exactly. smells. Yeah. Okay. It's not you. It's not. All right. Pillowcases to clean the ceiling fan. Okay. Okay, so a traditional duster, you dust the blades and then all that dust gets back in the air. That's no good. Michael, could you please climb up that stool for me? Uh, all right. All I'm right. wearing high yeah, we'll heels. Hold we'll hold it. So hold you it. take the pillowcase. When did we get a ceiling like fan? Just like that, right? <laughs> what do I do? You put it over the blade and you go like this. So then, and then you pull it back. You want to get, okay. But all the dust is then contained in the pillowcase oh. and then you can go outside <laughs> and shake it. Right? All right. It's kind of fun. Ah. No, like that. And then you go outside, you shake it out, you can throw it in the wash. Okay, easy, easy, easy. That poor ceiling fan. That poor... We just got that ceiling fan. This is how my son and I clean the house. Yeah. Let me give you more Dad, choice. I'll get the lamp. What's this? Kitchen tongs. Yeah. To clean the blinds. I made one for you, too. What do you Those, mean? You MacGyver this. It is kitchen tongs. CBS, wrapped in Thursdays at 9. Cloth, <laughs> right? With a little bit of a rubber band. Then you put it between here. Yeah. And you dust the blades. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. <laughs> and the best part is, you're cleaning the top and the bottom at once. So you're doing double duty. You're cutting your cleaning time in half. How amazing is that? And also, okay, wait, wait, wait. I want to get this one. <laughs> He's get the curl. In. He's definitely drunk. He's gonna have a <laughs> hard time. Too much work vodka. Too much. Okay. Use dryer sheets for what? For cleaning soap scum. Soap scum. Right? So the coat. I'm on sick and tired sheet. of you, soap scum. <laughs> We're gonna give it to a dryer okay. sheet. So the coating on this that softens fabrics also softens soap scum, mm. right? And you throw these things out anyway, so this is upcycling them. Wow. Good use, second use for it, right? I did so not know that. So you're gonna dip it in a little bit of water, uh -huh. and then look at that. Soap scum. The soap scum comes right off. What? Yeah. Wow. Okay, last one. Spring cleaning. That's incredible. A bagel. Carbohydrates? A bagel to clean a painting. Are easy, you ready easy, for this? Cut. Easy. No, right, no, no, no. Don't yeah. let her near the bread. Bagels for oh. everyone. Bagels Wait, so for... we're going to. So this is oh my the best God, part. This smells so I know, good. It? I love you. Yeah, so just... pull it out. My best friend. Take that chewy, gooey inside, You're right? You're my best friend and I love you. Okay. I'm allergic to bagels. That's why I came up with this tip. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you goo it up like this, make a little doughy ball, and then jab it on your painting. To take Wait, what off are we doing? Dust. We're painting? You're getting off the dust. Oh, we're getting the dust You're getting off the getting off painting. the dust off the painting. If you have a Renoir or Picasso, maybe okay. don't try this at home. But you know, for your average this is painting. What, at the Louvre right, every day, right, they're right, like, right, uh, right, another right, bagel, right. another dollar. But it's a great way to dust the painting. <laughs> and then I love you. Then I, I love you. Carb diet, yeah. then you just eat the shell. Oh, that's a good idea. Right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. Listen, when we come back, uh, we're going to show you uh, why you so shouldn't throw dust. away any stale <laughs> bread. There's so much dust. There's more to stick around. We're back with Megan Murphy from Good Housekeeping. She's showing us some. Some more uses for vodka. <laughs> um, what else we got? Okay, so you know you buy a picture frame and the sticker is like right on the glass. How annoying yes, is that? Right so, on my right face. Right on your there. face. So, so unfair. So you take a little laundry stain pre-treater, okay. squirt it on there generously, really get it in there, and then you can just use your nail. I'm gonna preserve my mani to work it off. Oh, wow. Works like a charm. Okay. Cool. Stale bread, coffee grinder. You put a little bit of stale bread in your coffee grinder. Yeah. And it's gonna clean the blades, absorb some of those odors and oils. Like that. No kidding. Right, like that. And then you just brush out the clean. Oh, it's so clean. So oh clean. Cow. What, what, what? what? Garbage I'll add a little vodka to that. Oh, yes. This is good for the garbage. Yes. It makes it smell good. Cut up some lemons, cover it in vinegar, freeze it, and then every time you're doing your dishes, pop one in the garbage disposal. Thanks, Megan. You did it. You did it. Check out Good Housekeeping. It's on stands now. More information.
Action at LiveKelly.com.